Howdy, this is the Three Trends RGB Plus One C by Heiss. It's an audio video instrument and effect. You can run video into it, you can run audio into it, and it makes incredible patterns with its beautiful analog oscillators. The Three Trends has three triangle wave oscillators, each attached to its own color. Here we can mix the colors together. Here we control their pitch. Here we control the range, making them horizontal or vertical. And here we have the sync, which synchronizes it to the video clock rate. We can also control the type from ramps, triangles, saw waveforms. The Three Trends has a composite video output, mono audio output, a CV input for each oscillator, and a composite video input. The patch bay is where the magic happens in the Three Trends. We have all the ins and outs of all three oscillators, the LFOs, and also the uh, video input. So the simplest thing we can do is use the LFO to modulate the CV of one of the channels. All of the directions are on here so we can see that the green duck for instance is just an input while the green output is both an input and output. So that means that, so from the LFO, same LFO, we can go to the output, and then we're just gonna see that LFO along with the green oscillator. So these are just added together. We could go over to the CV, so now the LFO is modulating the pitch of the green channel. So the LFO again is high and low and its shape. And then we have for each channel a duck, the negative of it. And that's used to just cut out that oscillator. This is best used with the video signal. Let's see, am I sending video? Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> that's fine. The, the, the FBI logo is good. So then the video can be used to duck the channels here. Let's just have the green. So you can see it subtracting from the green, or you can see it acting as the modulator for the green channel. Again, there's the video. Or you can see it added to it, which is slightly different than that. So you can see both of them together if you patch the video to the output. The other input on here is the sync. So we'll go back to the LFO and we'll take it to the green sync. And if we take the sync down a little, now the LFO is controlling the amount of sync of that oscillator. And put it in the video and we get interesting things. So here we have the video signal going to the sync of green. video signal. So the ones that go both ways we can patch together and say here's our blue out and green out together. The
but if we hook the red minus to the green minus, we're not like changing anything since both of those are inputs. There is a ground and a high, which will be used for external devices so we can power things straight from this header. The header, you could attach uh, pots and stuff to it if you wanted to say change how much the LFO is affecting something, but that's a story for another video. The three trends can also be used to process external video. Here we're bringing an external signal from this composite cable into the green channel. It's just a normal DVD. We can use the scroll to change where the image is at on the screen. We can use this range button to move it up vertically. We can use the brightness and then the invert. And pull in the blue, so we're now we got blue and green. Now R, G, and B to make it white. Here the three trends is modulating an external video signal. We can change the brightness and invert the signal. And up here, we have the video signal itself used as a modulation source for the green channel and ducking the blue channel so we get a kind of color keying. We can also have the oscillators directly attached to the video, external video, so we can turn them on one at a time or have them be oscillators. The video can be scrolled left and right, and up and down with this button. So by using the video source as a modulation, you don't even have to see the video for it to be doing something to your patch. We can turn the video on and off on this channel, you can see how the changing video is changing the oscillators. Of course, we can patch this to anything else. That's the beauty of the three trends patch bay. Here, we're showing that you can use a cheap CCD camera to get some live video feedback. It's a really cheap and easy way to get live video into it. And you can use old digital cameras where they have those silly old cables that you lose. You can use those or whatever. Here you can see just using the blue channel and playing the invert can give some pretty great effects. And then once we start using video signal again to duck, let's duck green. There you go. And then scroll. You can also use the video input as a colorizer when nothing's there. So here we can turn the blue channel to input. And let's turn these other ones down real quick. You can see now we just have a blue color space. This is useful if, say, we would just make the green a little less green. And we can add some red. And then by mixing the outputs of each oscillator in the patch bay, we can get some more monotone things going on. And then if we mix all the outputs, I'm gonna get, oh, why not that? We can then control the hue of the master output by using the volumes. And 
we have a really great monotone patch. So again, we have the outputs of every oscillator patched together, and then I just got one of the LFOs going to the green CV, and then I can just use the volumes here as a color mixer. If we want to drop one of them, then we have the background. We can use that color over here on the brightness, or we can use it to mix over here. Here we're sending audio into the blue CV jack. Then on the patch bay, we have the blue CV and the red CV linked together. Here we're just seeing the blue, but we can bring the red there. We're sending audio from just one waveform on 2600. A nice filtered square wave, I'm told. So you can see, we can keep changing the pitch there and we have about the same shape. And then as the external signal changes, you can dial it in there and then we'll bring it up on the red here. So we have the same external signal affecting two different waveforms and it looks incredible. We can patch multiple things at the same time, so while we have the ARP and the input, we can still use the internal LFOs to add even more oscillation. screwdriver that comes with it and change the trim pot in here if we need to change the external signal but usually you can just do that on the source end the three trims also produces audio you're pretty much going to only hear it when the range is horizontal because when it's vertical, it's outside the range of human hearing. It's good for drones, but you're also producing a pretty complex waveform up here to use for any modulation source. You want to send it back to the modular or anything that needs crazy waveforms. And again, we can use see the three trends is made of really simple parts but it's all about putting them together in interesting ways here we still have the ARP coming in here in the red CV channel we have some public domain cartoons in the other channel and coming in through video and now we're just gonna make a crazy patch see what we can do
we have the green CV and the red CV linked together and also the red out and the green out. So again, we're color mixing. We have the sink off a little bit to make that neat stuff. And we just play with the pitches until we find something neat. shape can have a big effect on the pitch too, so when you change it you might drop off completely, but that's really just the pitch dividing down because of the shape.